Hello everyone, uh, this is going to be my second tutorial. Uh, I received a few requests, a few uh, 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 students uh, requested me like uh, how we can send email using class or sometimes uh, the sending email process is too slow like uh, if you are sending email to 5 to 10 recipients it takes uh, 5 to 10 seconds and it looks very awkward so what is the solution for that so in this tutorial uh, we will cover this tutorial is divided into three parts uh, first two parts i will upload today and the third part is the second video so we will see this tutorial is divided into three parts the first part we will try to understand simple message sent as an email to one person then sending some messages to the group of people this is very straightforward there are a number of tutorials already available and this is a sending email takes time if this process is ex uh, executed in the main body uh, this is the main issue like uh, the tutorials are there on the internet and uh, but uh, it takes time like they just tell you how we can send up email uh, using flask mail but uh, there is another solution like using multi-threading process of python we can create a multi-thread or uh, small small threads of uh, every recipients and this can save our time uh, not the time of sending email the time uh, that the control is uh, given to the main function we will see that later so uh, the second part is like how the second part we will push the sending email process in the background using python threading interesting right i hope so and we will see that it saves a hell of time finally the third part which is actually the desired part we will try to implement rendered fancy html pages like we receive so many emails uh, from um, uh, 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 gmail or uh, uh, we can say linkedin they are very fancy emails and they send frequently of course they don't type for every individual users they render html pages with some customizable content so we will see that that is the little advance and we will see that so we assume the flask is already installed and running so we will have to install the flask mail uh, i also assume this is also installed to many of the machines but if it is not installed you have to do pip install flask mail uh, in case you are running a command line then you don't have to put this explanation mark so now we have to do some necessary uh, s configurations like uh, what email uh, server I am using, what is my email address and either I am implementing my SSL and TLS security and that sort of things has to be configured. So this is the minimum line of code I think we have to do uh, to send a simple email. So mail server SMTP dot com and then mail port is 465 mail username this is the email address i have explicitly created for the application i am writing actually i am a, a faculty member in department so i have um, many patches and students so i am making an app for that so uh, this is what i have created an email and you can create your own email and here you have to give the password of the, the email you have just created so of course i am not showing the my password and using tls false and uh, ssl true and then again uh, the app that i have just created here passing to the mail and that mail object is created so that is a very simple and straightforward configuration we have done so now <coughs> we have to run this code so that we can see this message running okay i just uh, pause for just few seconds I inserted my password and executed this line before it was 18 no it is 19 it means this is successfully executed all I have to shift enter so now we can do sending email so with app, dot co app context if you are running this code in for a browser and the main file is .py file then you don't need this code with app that are app context it is only when I'm creating the proxy and I'm using all that uh, 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 the content in Jupyter. This is just uh, for the sake of uh, when you are running and not displaying on the web server. So then you have to do with app dot app context. So this you can ignore when you are using your main Flask app. So we have to create a message that I we have already imported here Flask mail message and that message have a certain uh, parameters to be passed first is the first is the subject like 
whenever we compose an email, we need to tell up a uh, uh, subject. Subject can be a uh, long or small, but usually it has to be not very long. It has to be very abstract. Then, what is the sender default email? So this is my sender default email, and this is something very uh, like you have seen this type of syntax. This is very helpful. For example, in application, there are five to ten people who will be sending emails. One is um, the, the chairman of the department, one is the coordinator of the department, and sometimes the faculty of the department. If I am talking about the co in, in the context of uh, university environment. So this time I am the sending email, so I just write Junaid Babar and this, and the next time if you are sending, you can write your own name like Mr. John or Dr. Boris, so whatever you can write. So the email remain will be the same and the sender name will be changed. So this is something very nice feature. Of course, this is a, a built in in Gmail and other things also. Once you have given your title or subject and the sender and now you have to tell the recipients so we have uh, i have given two recipients these both are my email addresses and this is the first three things are uh, mandatory and the later on the things are optional like reply to cc bcc attachments all those sort of things are optional but here i i feel i should tell you what is reply to for example, if Junaid Babar is sending email, the email sender is the main registered email and when the, the receiver wants to reply and click on reply, instead of going reply going to this email, reply goes to this email and this is not my email, this is just a uh, imaginary email, this is not my email. So you can add your own reply to and you can add CC so that you can keep a copy of that. So. Once that you have done the uh, the header part, now it comes a body part. There can be uh, two types of body: message dot body and message dot HTML body. The HTML stuff, and uh, we will see in our next tutorial. So this is my email body, and I can write uh, body, and uh, uh, this is just a demo. And uh, I just copied the subject uh, when I implemented my module when you have a successfully logged in then you receive the email oh somebody or you did a login so that you know that your system is not used by someone else so I will say that hello world the subject title is look very weird I don't like this word hello world but this is a very famous word so now I just have to enter shift enter the email will be sent to two person from this body and Junaid Babar and I will do shift enter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine to ten seconds just sending three emails. Oh my god. If there are more than ten recipients or twelve or recipients or let's say 100 recipients my system will like I will thought that the Google is down and the internet is broken and something like that so this is the problem we have to see next how we can solve this okay guys this email is sent let's see see I have received email hello world and uh, this is the email body and this is sent to me and another recipient when I click reply and you see that it is not replying to this email it is replying to junior at gmail but uh, I just mentioned the reply which is nice isn't it okay <coughs> this is sending one message to multiple recipients how about if I want to send multiple messages to multiple recipients in case I want to do some announcement or I want to send the results of the students so uh, the result uh, for every student is different so in that case uh, I would say that I am sending the bulk emails so the little description I have added so again making things very simple I have added three emails though uh, incoming lectures if needed if requested I will create a database in my SQL or SQLite I will fetch some dummy data and then I will load the data from the database and will I will send and show the demo. So <coughs> uh, the same three emails instead of telling uh, in particular I have just created 
the extracted that email and uh, this is the app dot app context i have already explained why i'm using this and this is something mail dot connect though we can use simple this for email and we can send the message here but this is since the api provided by <coughs> flask email so i'm explaining that again message subject and the message body is created we have given the recipient instead of recipient i'm take, taking it from my loop and loop is taking from my list so it can be a database object and uh, you loop your all the database rows from the given table and you can do uh, whatever is desired <coughs> so there is nothing else beside that con dot send is sent in the uh, for email and again this email will be sent and this time the subject is hello mr miss and again i'm counting one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen seconds or fifteen seconds again <coughs> sorry if you are running a web app and you wait for 15 seconds you will assume that something is happened another uh, world trade center 911 is happened and uh, the internet is gone but of course we cannot wait that long the solution is what if i want to send we will see that the same message to same people is sent just in less than a second so the web page example of course solves the problem but it also slows down the process as the mail is sending in a main function so instead what we want to do we want to use the threading this is again i have tried my best to make it as simple as it can be <coughs> so from threading i import thread i make a function that will be passed to my thread send email thread it will take only a message and what is the message this is the message right where i tell every necessary thing what is my body what is my uh, subject who are my recipients and uh, what uh, uh, what it, it should reply to cc and everything is set then i will send to this function and this function will just mail dot send it will send that okay so with app dot context <coughs> the same thing is repeated what i was doing earlier and just here instead of mail dot send i'm creating a thread thread has a target and target is that function i just showed you above and the what argument it is taking it is taking just one argument depending on your context if you create uh, this and a separate file then you have to import the app variable also then you have to pass your app so that this mail function can be accessible since my everything is in the same file so i don't need to do that all i have to this thread thread dot start <coughs> and let's see now i'm going to enter shift enter this is going to be uh, 17 last time it took 17 seconds or oh, 15 seconds let's see how much time it takes shift enter oh my god thread dot start so all set uh, sorry there was error so i i accidentally did not put my body message so there was syntax error so now everything is set now i want to send email before it took 14 seconds now i just want to do it less than a second so here i have explained everything now just i have to shift enter shift enter line executed less than a second the method is in the process background and let's see but uh, three so i have received the uh, email right this is sent by uh, uh, multi-threading so i took the help that these are the references i took the help from this blog and this blog and both those blogs are open here so there are many other things if you want to see how to put cc bcc you can go through my blog or this blog and uh, by the end of the video in the youtube description i will uh, add uh, the, the uh, source code of this uh, on my uh, blog thank you